Bees well earned point on the road at South Shields. Yeah, I think if you come up here and get a point, um, you, know, you take that the full time club. I know they're on a bit of a, a difficult period, but you know they've, they've been working all week on stuff and they haven't didn't play Monday like us. And probably as the game wear on, you can probably see they're a bit fresher than us and they, they, they come on strong. Um, and you know scored probably probably deserved an equaliser and probably a draw was a fair result. But I think the game. For me, it's changed on the referee's poor decision. I don't like talking about refs, you know, I'd never speak about refs normally, but we've scored a perfect legitimate goal and he's given a free kick against us. You know, arguably it's a penalty or it's a goal and he's given a free kick the other way and that's 2 0 and that makes a big difference. You know, I thought overall, I thought the ref was poor. How can you book someone for time wasting when we've got a corner after 12 minutes? We're working on set, set movements, so it's not time wasting, is it? I don't, you know, and he's letting ta flying tackles go and, and then booking people for time wasting. It's just, I just think it's really poor. And as I say, the game changed on that. If you go 2 0 up, it's a mountain for them to climb, and you know, we've got a bigger lead to hold on to. There was a bit of a flurry of bookings in, in the first half in that middle for, for basically nothing. And, and and maybe did that contribute to that little flashpoint we saw with Mitch Duggan on the far side? I think someone said maybe a spectator had, had thrown something. Well, he just went to pick the ball up on a spectator, threw a pint of, pint of beer over, and this is an absolute disgrace. You know, to be fair to the club here, they apologised and ejected him, so you know it's been dealt with. In terms of the game itself, there wasn't a great deal of chance in the first half. But I mean, I know Sean Williams scored the penalty, but it was two of his corners. Uh, Tom Hannigan had a couple of really good chances. And I suppose that's what you get from from Sean Williams from the set piece delivery. You always know you're going to get half a chance for something. Yeah, I think one thing we need to be better at. We need to score more from set pieces. Probably what we haven't done this year. And as I say, Tom too. One was a great header and the other one was cleared off the line, so you, you can't go much closer than that. Um, I think, you know, first half I thought we were excellent, thought we were out, out of possession, we controlled them, as I say, I allude to it, you know, it's 2 0, it's, it's a clear goal, you know, I can't see what the foul's for. He doesn't even know, he said the number six pushed, the number six is in the middle of the pitch, so he's made it up as he went along, so it's disappointing from our point of view, but, you know, second half, as I say, they probably deserved the point, they hit, come on, come on strong and, you know, they, Probably got one of the best forwards in the league. It was a great movement and a great composure to score. So probably a draw was a fair result. Uh, were you a bit relieved when they decided to take him off? Because I thought Blackett certainly looked like he was causing problems. Yeah, yeah. As the game wore on, he started to cause us problems, didn't he? And um, yeah, I was a bit relieved. I know it was only five minutes to go, but I think he picked up an injury. So you know, that that was probably better for us because as as the game wore on, I think we come on back, back a little bit stronger. But as I say, you know, you come up here to, to get a draw. We play it and forget we played Monday and. You know, a really tough game. They're all tough games for us. We're not full-time footballers. We've got a small squad. Um, but to come up here and get a point, they're unbeaten against another full-time team this year. So that's a positive. And I suppose we, you know, you talk about the numbers available. And I know we had a bit of a chat about about the strike situation. I suppose we saw that from Shields when they brought Aaron Martin on. He sort of lifted them up a little bit. Them fresh legs that they were able to bring on up front. Whereas you know, you've got Josh Amos running his blood to water for 90 minutes every week at the moment. Yeah, and that, you know, it is what it is. We've got. Possibly one or two options by something different, you know, and we'll have to look at that because he can't keep doing what he's doing. He's doing great for us, um, but you know, it is what it is, and that, that's probably the level the clubs are at. You know, these have got a big squad. Um, you know, I think they've got a few missing today, but they've got a, a decent squad, and we've got a small squad. But that's not enough for me to complain about. We just have to get on with that. We've been talking about you. You obviously got plenty of options in midfield now, but the way Jay Harris and Sean Williams are being playing, they're almost making it impossible for you to to play any, anything other than them two in there. Yeah, he played really well again today. You know, I only took Sean off because I was I was worrying about um, the referee, you know, doing something silly really, and Sean being on a booking. I just thought, well, we had to we had to sort of leave that. And obviously, you know, we've got quality on in, you know on the bench. We've got Bowen and we've got massive quality players. So yeah, it, it, it's given us given us options in the middle of the pitch. You know, and we've got obviously options at the back now of Clarkie and and then two centre half. So it's good. You got three home games now, including Tuesday night against Tamworth. How important is it to to carry on this really good home form that you've you've started on? Um, I think we've just got to take each game because obviously Tamworth are top of the league. They're, they're there for a reason. They're, they're strong. They're, they're aggressive and really good at what they do and dead effective. So it's going to be a really really tough game Tuesday. And then Alfreton, who will probably finish in the top five, got to the first round of the FA Cup. So it's going to be really tough. And you know, I don't even know who's after that. Southport is <laughs> after yeah. that one. The um, we, well, let, I can't go without mentioning Mitch Duggan of course made his, his 200th appearance and obviously got his uh, customary, customary booking which uh, we had a bit of a, a joke about on the way here you know, I know you touched on it briefly last week but great achievement for a player to, to reach 200, 200 yeah, games it's an outstanding achievement you know, he's, been, he's been great for us he's been great for me as a, as a player he's excellent in training he, he can list the time up he's a winner Sometimes he goes, up, he's, you know, makes the odd mistake. But don't we all have? I've mentioned that before. But now he, he's been great for us, great defender. 
you know, no one really gets past him. You know, you see today he's cleared one from under his own crossbar and smashed into the post, and that's the commitment he shows to this club.